There's that guy down. Here's a turtle. They got a pretty big aggro range. They come running from, interrupted. Come running from miles away. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Hero's Journey Progression Achievement Quests thing on the Vox server. This is the Welcome to the Moors achievement. I am currently working on getting these crocodile skins, which I just finished getting for Manello. Looks like the only person that needs it now is Frecro. See, this is a one of those things with those quests. This one is simply to deliver it. It's not to loot it. It's not to kill. It's you have to like go get them and then deliver. The, the quest actually is tracking you delivering them. So you could have like 500 of these things on your guy and never complete the quest. So you have you got to pay attention to the what the quest says because you might spend all day long looting them and not realize that it's deliver them or You'll see it says deliver them, and you'll run off to the guy to go deliver them, and you'll you won't have looted any, or you'll be missing one or whatever, because you know it's not tracking how many you're looting. So that's why I got it put on the bar here, so I can physically see that I need one more, because it's deliver four. And that's why I have it set up on these guys that way. So I set it up because the other item there is this Moore's turtle shell, which is right here. I have that on him, and I accidentally looted it twice on this guy, and not on this guy. So I need to—I gotta kill one more of the turtles to get the shell to drop. So that's what I've been working on for this part. There's basically these alligators and turtles. There hasn't been many turtles, though. So I've just been killing the alligators because they're ready to attack, so... The target resisted. The target resisted. Bon guy. But even guy is resistant. I just toggle everybody's attacks on. And I basically just let him melee while I'm tabbed out. There's that guy down. Here's a turtle. They got a pretty big aggro range. They come running from, interrupted. Come running from miles away. Manello interrupted. The bon target resisted. Guy. So I'll show you the camp that I need to go to once I get this turtle sh this turtle shell. I don't know with me. My guy's all clubbing this thing. The shell might not be usable. We'll see. There it is. So it was Frecro. So right click give to Frecro. Yes. All right. So I still need one of the hides. Did it not drop? Guess I gotta kill a couple more alligators for one more of those hides. See if I can avoid those guys. So if you're doing the hero's quest or the hero's journey, what you'll notice is that you'll get stuck on these quests where it's like you gotta loot ten of them, 
And because typical EverQuest, you know, there's not a guarantee that the enemy you kill is going to drop the thing you need. So you end up having to kill like a ton of them. But when you have to, when you're doing it for three characters, you end up having to kill like an absurd amount of the enemies. And by grinding that many enemies, you, it's very common to out level whatever you're killing. So a lot of the times you'll end up, they'll end up being light blue by the time you move off to the next quest. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing because, you know, you end up on the next part of the quest, which could be like a, you know, a several levels ahead jump. Some of these guys are still yellow, so. So I think my next day's worth of recording will be done with Big Ton being the driver. Let him work his defensive skill a little bit. Yep, so we're just all sitting here just clubbing the crap out of this thing. Alright, who needed it? Frekro? Yep, so we'll give to Frekro. Alright, now the turn in. Make sure I know the, the Smithy Bronson wants those, but he's in Crescent Reach. Darkwater Pools was Ozana or whatever. Actually, I think what I'll do is instead of running there, because I think this one here requires me to run to the same area. Use Sash Claw Trap. That would be this. Get rid of some of these not usable buttons. Those are from, uh, I think, AAs, because... So, I noticed Gerald C17 was, like, moving his bars around. So I don't necessarily know if he knows how to do this copy UI thing. So if you hit Alt O and open your little thing here in the general tab, there's this copy layout. Search this window here for the interface that you have set up. You pick it, toggle all your all these socials and loadouts and your hotkeys, and you click copy, and it'll make your layout the same of the one that you pick. So if you make a new character and you're starting a new series or whatever, you can like have the same UI instead of having to like, you know, sit there and move everything around and try to guess where it was from your other character. That's just a little tip. So I don't actually know where the slash Claws are so really quick. Not that. Go to here. So that was the slash claw cliffs. Slash claw cliffs. So south of high hold. Pass zone line. So that is down here. I pass. I. Is that what it's talking about? I'm recording. I don't think it got you. I can edit it out anyway. 
So we will go down to here, I believe. Is that what it says? So south of High Hold Pass, so am I in the Moore's Claws. Oh, yeah, right there. Slash Claws. Now, can I mark it? Yep. So if you're in the map and you right click, it'll pull up the little mysterious path there. I think there's a, uh, a limit to the range, so you can't do it like across an entire zone, but if it's relatively close, you can pop it up. That's right clicking like to put a marker on the map and it'll bring up the path. So let's center the map to see exactly how far yeah, it's right there. Okay. And once that's up, you can close it out. So if you ever use this line, you'll notice that if you stray off, it starts to draw a line everywhere. If you come back and center yourself onto the line, it'll like snap the line away. And you can basically just worm it up. So I ended up running past the quest turn in spot anyway. So it's kind of far. Wonder if I have to kill these crocodiles. Wonder if those You know what? There's you needed ah it... dark water crocodile skin, dark water crocodile skin. I actually needed six of those. I just now realized it. So I think what I'll do is run around this lake. Pick up the path on the other side. Make sure everybody's still following. All right, now we're within eye shot. Somewhere over here. Oh, I remember fighting these a long time ago. So I think these more sh slash claws are what I need to kill. Which is the slash claw clips. Slash claw clips. So I need to capture a cub. Okay, and then it's just loot pristine slash cloth pelts off of them. So we need to make sure that this window does not close. If you notice windows are randomly disappearing off your UI, it's probably because escape to close is, is clicked. So just uncheck that, and then when you hit escape, it won't close it. There's a cub. There's a cub. So that lady right there is protecting those two cubs. So... For safety reasons... Eh, got her anyway. Also, pacified the wrong one.
guy. He's fizzling up a storm, and that's even with the anti-fizzle spell, which means that the conjuration skill is super low. So what we'll do is Recro interrupted. not hit him with that. Bon guy. Come on, I told you to follow. There we go. Now everybody's swinging away. So I got a pristine pelt already. The target resisted. So that's ding level 24. Four on everyone. So now we need to capture the cub. All right, that was easy enough. So now we just need the pelts. So if I think they're on top of this, or are they over here? Because I know those hedge dudes are over here. That's what the map says. So it's definitely supposed to be over here. Looks like probably inside here. Yep, there we go. I've been off live servers for a long time, so I don't know if the experience I'm gaining is something to do with the server, or that's just how it is on live. I feel like I'm gaining experience really fast. Maybe I've just been playing on... Ooh. That's new. It says a rare creature. That... So that's what a, they call a name now. I wonder if I could 
beat it. We're gonna find out. The target resisted. Mostly successful, so that means that it's only partially slowed. But we got this in the bag. So this should be some kind of a drop. The named, which they call a rare creature. Wonder when they added oh, that. God. I definitely don't remember seeing that before. Did a necklace for a paladin ranger shadow knight bard beast. Not bad. Just have everybody greed on it. Maybe that was a would have been a hard fight if. If, uh, I was, you know, just me and my Merc. The fact that I got three Mercs plus the three other guys. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. If you like the video, click the like button. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe. Leave your comments down in the comment section. Check the description for links to social media and my Patreon. And I'll see you guys in the next video.